Hello, all you beautiful wine students. Um, I'm here to demonstrate today how to do a titratable acidity um, with a wine sample. The things that you're going to need are a 10 mil volumetric pipette, so high quality, you have to have a very accurate measurement of your, uh, uh, your 10 milliliters of wine. So a 10 mil volumetric pipette. We need a wine sample. We're also going to require uh, about a 250 to 500 milliliter beaker. Uh, what we're going to titrate with is some 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. And the other thing we're going to require is a freshly calibrated pH meter. Check out the pH meter calibration video to uh, go ahead and figure out how to do that. And then we also are going to need a volumetric burette right here that I've already filled with that 0.1 molar uh, sodium hydroxide. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get a little volume of deionized water. The volume on the deionized water doesn't matter, and the reason why it doesn't matter is because it's deionized. When we're doing a titration, we're basically doing some type of cation exchange where we're basically titrating an acid uh, with a base. So this is de deionized water, so we have no um, ions, and it's important to use either distilled or deionized water. So we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of, of liquid, and the amount of that is really uh, ideally going to be just enough to cover the tip of the pH electrode. So we'll go ahead and put that on our stir plate right here. We'll add a little stir bar right there. And then we're going to go ahead and insert our uh, pH probe inside of that container. And go ahead and make sure that it's all nice and lined up so that the, uh, uh, the, the burette is facing really nicely, just the, the, the water right there. And then our next step is going to be to take 10 milliliters of wine with our uh, auto pipetter here. So what we do is we go ahead and squeeze the bulb on that, squeeze it nice and tight, and then we go ahead and pull up the wine. And you can see the wine coming up into the ball. Let me just bring that up real nice and neatly until our meniscus is right on that line. Take a look at that, get that nice and close so you can see that. Let me go ahead and put that in our container and drain it out really nice and slowly. Every last drop in there, nice and neat. Perfect. Put that down. And now we're ready to do our titration. So what we'll go ahead and do is turn on the stir bar to get the liquid moving around. Again, we've got our, our burette right here full of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. And we'll open up the stopcock real slowly and start to let some liquid flow in. And of course, before we start doing that, we want to note that our starting value on the burette, we want to know where it was. This one in particular was at zero milliliters exactly. So we're starting at zero milliliters, a perfectly full burette, and then we're going to go ahead and start titrating. And we're going to want to keep an eye on our pH right here because our end point in this that we want to reach is pH 8.2. And so we'll just go ahead and start titrating. And now early on, uh, when you're titrating, the pH is going to move pretty slowly um, because pH is logarithmic. Each one is 10 times more than the next. So from a pH of uh, 3 to 4 will be pretty slow. 4 to 5 will be a little faster. 5 to 6 will be faster. Then 6 to 7 will be really fast. And then 7 to 8.2 is literally a few drops. So you might want to let the liquid run pretty quick in the beginning to get that pH starting to come up. And once you see it starting getting closer to pH 6, uh, that's when you want to really slow your roll and um, be very careful with how uh, quickly you do the titration. So again, just slowly let it happen because this is a process um, and you want to take your time and you don't want to overshoot it. So we just keep gradually opening the stopcock a little bit and letting it uh, that pH come up. And right now uh, we're at about pH uh, 6.38 and so we're going to go ahead and keep bringing just a little bit at a time and one of the best things you can do is notice how I'm uh, handling the stopcock here. So I'm just doing a quick rotation. 
and that opens and closes the stop cock quickly and uh, we go ahead and see that pH continue to rise because we're adding that base to the wine to titrate out that natural acid that's in the wine. So now we're at about pH seven. So things are gonna be moving pretty quick at this point in time to that next level. So uh, now we're seeing pH seven one, seven two five, seven three, seven four one. It's already still climbing uh, just based on what's already in there. And then just slowly keep rotating it to bring that pH up. So we're now at pH seven six, one more twist. Gets us to 7.7. Seven. Seven, nine. Little over eight now. 8.05, 8.06. Um, and once I do this, I'll do one more quick rotation, see what it comes up to. And we're at 8.14. 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, pH 8.2. Perfect. And so we'll take a look on the uh, burette here. And our measurement is 7.1 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. So we go ahead and multiply that 7.1 times 0.75, and that will give us our answer. So that's how you do a titratable acidity.